so i'm toning the paper with a piece of chunky graphite and it come these come in colors so it's kind of a taupey earth tone i rub a little bit down and then i rub it down with a cloth and i'm going to draw my composition out with um, an eraser and this is a fun still life with tomatoes and a summer hat and some flowers so i'm really just drawing in very rough i'm not worried about my contours where they're going to land yet because the contours um, are going to move as i as i work on the drawing i'm just getting everything in place so that's the top of the hat still just using i'm using a hard eraser because it can really cut through the graphite <clears throat> These were really juicy heirloom tomatoes. So I'm looking a little bit now at where the lights are in them. And then there's a little dishcloth there on the side. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the pattern, the stripes. Now I'm going to start in with the same graphite that I, that I rubbed the paper with um, to start to add in some of the darks. So the straw hat has a very vari uh, variation of lights and darks. And then there's going to be darks around the tomatoes. Again, I'm not being too careful about the about the contours yet. I'm just really looking for the lights and darks, um, the general composition still. So some of the tomatoes, I'm getting a little shadow on the tomatoes, the darks on the top. But you'll notice that the, the color that I put under there already provides a medium tone for those tomatoes. So it gives them more, uh, more of a feeling of, of, of solidity. These chunky graphites are, are great, but they're very soft. So the detail is going to come um, with a piece of compressed charcoal, which is what I'm using now, because I can get more, more lines, more specific mark making. And now I'm going to start to pay a little bit more attention about the shapes and the differences in the tomatoes themselves. They're all kind of lumpy. And then we've got to go back in there with the eraser because now I've kind of mushed everything together. And I'm putting in, uh, laying in a few little flowers. I think they're nasturtiums. It's a very summery setup. flowers need a little bit of shadow under them they don't they're not going to need a lot of detail <clears throat> they're pretty simple just a little bit of volume a little shadow in the center to give them a little bit of volume now I'm going to be more specific with those tomatoes try to get in their splits and their cracks and the shapes of their sections. And I'm using a compressed charcoal, a pit, which is by Derwent. The tomatoes were all different colors, but I'm just drawing them in charcoal. So I have to really give the idea that they're different colors by the values, by the lights and darks. So this tomato is gonna to be very dark and the other ones are going to be lighter.
And the more you use the eraser on a very dark tomato, the brighter the light is going to look on it. I use my finger as much as I use the charcoal or the eraser. I, I move the charcoal around with it. Uh, sometimes I can work on a drawing with, with nothing other than my fingers and just moving things around that are already there. So I'm keeping this one lighter, so I'm going to go back in there with the eraser and lighten up the edges of the sections to really make them feel full and bursting. But you can see that they all three have a slightly different uh, tone, so they feel like they're different colors. I can imagine that that dark one is red or purple. And the middle one is maybe more orange. When you're adding darks, you have to keep going back in there and adding them again. The more you draw, um, the more you have to keep checking your values and make sure you're keep in keeping with um, what you kind of set out to do. So I'm going back and adding a little bit more texture in the hat to give a little bit of a feeling of straw. This isn't a super specific drawing. And you can see that I, I had put those flowers in and then I, I didn't like them, so I rubbed them out, which is really easy when it's charcoal and an eraser. And now I'm going to be a little bit more specific and put them back in. Um, I didn't like the way they were flopping around. So the, you can see I put a lot more shadow in the flowers too, so that they really feel like they're turned on the hat. And the last thing is putting in that little bit of a, of a towel that's in the corner. I think the folds in the towel are a nice foil for all of the, the, um, the shapes of the hat and the tomatoes. And the towel was kind of brightly colored as well, so I'm really trying to use the values of the lights and darks and the charcoal to give a sense that there are a lot of colors going on there. But I'm not going to be too fussy about it. I just want to give the feeling of the folds. Um, because it adds a nice softness. 